Hello and welcome to a very special entertainment roundup, um, an unscheduled entertainment roundup. Um, and uh, I'm just going to get right down to it. Um, originally, I was going to post uh, pretty much a couple of argo arc articles uh, relating to the news of Justin Bieber, uh, Mary J. Blige situation, um, the NFL, and how a um, a cornerback from Seattle was fine. Of course, with some other articles that I was going to touch on. And um, needed to say, um, while I was um, looking for that article, um, some very sad news that caught my attention. That which, uh, to the very point that I had to put all that on hold. And I might as well just get right down to it because it involved not only a personality of uh, of a former that guy with the glasses member, but pretty much personality just throughout the whole World Wide Web. Um, Jason Campbell, for those who don't know, um, went by the name of Drew Royo, had died on Thursday. Now the news started to trickle down on Saturday, as I'm speaking right now, and uh, needed to say it's the news that uh, just caught me along with a lot of people just completely off guard. It was just something that uh, that shocked me. Um, I found out about this pretty much while I was going over the articles to, uh, for the recording of the Entertainment Roundup. I had a few tabs on, one of the tabs being connected straight to uh, Matic Expression, another tab towards my YouTube um, page, um, and another tab going through all the articles. Every now and then I clicked on the Matic Expression um, refresh button and um, see what anybody had posted, anything new was coming on the forums. Um, just basically that's how I keep up to date while I'm doing other stuff on the computer. As I'm picking up all the articles, as I'm confirming the, the legitimacy of these articles, I'm already contemplating when it's gonna, how I'm going to present this um, to the uh, Entertainment Roundup form. When I clicked on, again, the uh, Matic Expressions um, refresh button, and as soon as I did that, I noticed someone post a video saying, R.I.P. Drew Wario. When I saw this, uh, my mind just went blank. I just really just stared at that one word for a good 90 seconds. I, I just couldn't believe uh, in my mind what I was reading. I said, are they talking about the same Juario that um, posts videos on YouTube and um, has his own, you know, you know, no web page and also um, used to be a, a big time member of Channel Awesome. This is the same person they talked about. And it was like something, I was in complete denial when I saw that. And when I finally clicked on and saw my fellow Matic Expression member talk about this, it was a very short, but right straight to the point and how um, he was going to to, to delay, what he, delay his project because he just, he was so heartbroken. I immediately went towards um, that guy with the glasses and find out if anybody was talking about this. Now I already went to that guy with the glasses first, just a quick glance of what um, new um, video was coming on, but I didn't really just stay on it because I had to really get my stuff going, but I was planning to go back later on in the evening. So when I went back over there, I didn't see anything from their news update site, I didn't see anything um, that anybody was posting, none of the producers was posting anything. But I did saw um, Nash, um, what um, what the F is wrong with you video that he normally does on the weekends, and I saw Drew Warriors, um was there. Um, he was filling in for Tara, and I clicked it on, and I and I saw him, and I didn't look at the comment session yet. I just looked at um, at Nash, and I saw Drew all, and he's having fun. He's having a ball. He was happy to be there. So I went back to. Matic Expression, and I left a comment saying, uh, where did you get this information from? Um, could you please show me where it is, because I'm going to Channel Awesome, and I don't see nothing. I don't see anything that indicates anything that's being said. But keep in mind, I'm in denial here. Uh, I'm like, this can't be real. This, this cannot be real. Now, I posted that down, and I immediately went online. I went to his channel. 
I, I went to see if anything was being done on Twitter. I went to his Twitter. There was really nothing. But I really wanted to make sure I get confirmation. And um, it was until slowly uh, stuff started filtering in. Um, fellow Matic Expression members was talking about it. Um, they started posting it on the, on the forums. Um, um, Deck of Shadow, a fellow Matic Expression, responded to my comments, even though I was already doing my research. And I typed in on Google his name. And uh, at first I saw his Twitter, his Twitter um, account, and I saw his Facebook account, but then I saw something that caught my attention quickly. And it says that now Drew Wario has passed away and I clicked on that immediately and I have it here and I will leave a link for you guys to take a look at in case you still haven't heard the news because it's not filtering right away um, it's actually filtering very slowly and it says here I'm going to read the whole entire thing so you guys can hear it y yourself and it says here it is with very sad heart that I must confirm my husband Justin Campbell sometimes known as Drew Wario died on Thursday January the 23rd I also have to confirm he shot himself, but he was not alone. He locked himself in the bathroom, and I was on the other side talking to with him. He knew I loved him. He knew all of you loved him. Um, you all made him so happy. Every time he was recognized from his videos, it made him um, giddy with joy. I also, um, <clears throat> he, um, his last recording was a song with Jonathan Mann. I don't know if Jonathan knows. He recorded it the night before. I am surrounded by families and friends and I'm talking, I'm taking this one moment at a time. Remember to breathe. I want to share with you what the camp, uh, what um, Champagne said to me it was a uh, momentary mistake hold on to the good memories and I <clears throat> I will post the update once a decision has been made about the funeral arrangements if I need anything I will let you know just hold on to each other love each other and I and thank you all so much for loving him so much This was uh, posted by um, Drew Wario's wife. Um, this was um, the only thing I have saw to pretty much confirm what has happened. Um, I, when I read this, I was shocked. I was uh, beyond words. Um, and a part of me wanted to think this was some kind of sick joke that somebody had done that. I I was very I was like this can't be real. I went back to that guy with the glasses. I still had him on the tabs. I didn't I played the um the um Nash's video, but I looked down on all the comments and at first it didn't seem nothing was out of the ordinary. The typical comments you would see were up there, but as I went further down, all you saw was rest in peace, we'll miss you, Drew Ario. rest in peace. Um, and uh, it was pretty much obvious that this is not something of a joke. Um, again, I went back to Drew Ario's um, Twitter. And again, there uh, was nothing really confirming anything, but I looked at the dates and I said, okay, these are the last time he's actually been on Twitter. So it's a possibility that if I'm correct, he probably wouldn't comment because the family members don't even have his account or there's no, or they're just not talking. But once I went to Nash's Twitter, that's when I really, that's when I really know something's going on. Push It Off Roses was exchanging tweets with, um, with Nash. Um, for those who don't know, Push It Off Roses was a former contributor of that guy with the glasses. But nothing confirmed it more than uh, Noah Antwaller, aka the Spoonie Ones tweet, 
was realized um, this was not a joke. This is dead serious. And uh, wow, um, this is Noel Antoine's tweet that he has done. He said, "I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can say stay here and introduce a movie in the wakes of the news." This was uh, Noel Antoine's tweet to Nash. And um, if anyone can confirm this, it's pretty much Noel Antoine. And I can only imagine what he's going through right now. Noel Antoine and, and Joya was very close to each other. Um, he was with Noel Antoine when he was going through a lot of stuff in his life, um, especially the stuff that led to a lot of friction within Channel Awesome, uh, which has since calmed down, and they and since then he has kept a good relationship, but it was Justin Campbell who actually was there for him. So hearing this news and hearing from him, <sighs> there were other contributors of uh, Channel Awesome who expressed their uh, their condolences to Oscar's Lupa on Tumblr. Um, there were a couple of people who run the That Guy with the Glasses of uh, Secret Forms on Tumblr. Um, people who followed Juario on YouTube expressed their condolences um, on his um, last video. And uh, when I came back on Matt on Matic expression, look at the forums, everybody's uh, commenting on the form on the passing of Juara. So it was pretty much uh, it's a shock. I was very, very shocked to hear this. And very, very saddened to to hear it. I am deeply heartbroken by this. Very deeply. The World Wide Web have lost a great man. The World Wide Web have lost a great personality. Anyone who had a chance to see some of his work, like I have, and I, I've watched not much of his um, retro videos on gaming, but uh, his other videos that he was talking about candy. He um, did a uh, a um, a segment where he was talking about different candies from all across the world, and he was um, explaining this. And uh, as crazy as that may sound, it actually was a fun segment because it actually educated me on the different candies that other countries eat. Um, candies that I think a lot of people won't even touch um, in this country because they, it, they, to when they hear it, it's like, why would they eat something like that? But other countries do that, and it's actually um, something that was very fascinating. It was actually very educational as well. Um, but for those who've seen his videos, um, the one thing I will really much say is that there was a passion that he did with his videos. Uh, he loved um, his, pr his presentation. He loved talking about the things um, that made him happy, that made, um, that made us happy as well. Um, and w the one thing that always stuck to me about him is that he was not the angry video game nerd, nor the nostalgic critic. Um, no, all the other video, uh, other video makers who uses curse words and go crazy, just so they can put a point about. No, he talked about something, um, he presented it, and he presented it in such a manner that um, you just can't help but actually listen. Um, another thing that I notice more about him, especially with with the, um, the people of Channel Awesome, is that he was always a pleasant to be around. He was always a good sport on things. Um, he loved working with them, especially with um, the specials that they do. Um, and uh, it, this, um, the fact that a lot of the producers uh, felt comfortable being around him. And that's very hard to do, especially when a lot of personalities, a lot of egos going on. The fact you had Drew Wario there uh, and it made a lot of people comfortable is saying a lot. Um, but one of the things that earned my respect to Drew Wario is the fact is he came to an aid of a fellow producer who was just starting out as um, on you know, that guy with the glasses and she did not get a good reception and that was Demanda Hawkins 
when she posted her first video, it didn't give the reception that you will think um, that others have gotten. Um, people did not understand her style. People didn't like how different her style was. And they were just bashing her, uh, saying, how can Channel Awesome do this? Um, she's not good, uh, blah, blah, blah. And it was just so mean-spirited that at that moment when I'm seeing these comments down, that I was like, wow, I'm really ashamed to be on this site right now, the way these, um, the way the community is just basically blasting her. And then Juario came to her aid and saying, hey, look, you know, she's just starting out. She has a different style that, you know, I understand that nobody has seen, but she does have a fan base. Give her a chance. Um, she just started. This is her first video. Um, mind you that I made a lot of videos for her, for this site, and not everyone likes my stuff or even watch my stuff either. Um, if you don't like her stuff, that's fine, but there are other people out there who does. Just give her that opportunity. Um that was the kind of person that he was he came um when someone is down in luck he will also he came to their aid and actually help uh, lighten the burden and ever since then uh, the maga hoggins have actually never looked back it's been two years now and she's still um posting videos but keep in mind it was a very rough start for her and juario actually eased her in uh in the channel awesome community and that was also something that i i very I, I admire him for that. I admire him. It, it reminded me why I came, um, why I go to that guy with the glasses because of what he had done. It was a very noble thing. He didn't have to do it, but he came in there. He saw what was going on. He felt he needed to say something. And by him being there, it sort of eased it down um, very, very much. And she has her own fans, of course. Those who follow her, they feel follow her. And those who don't, well, they just go to something else. It's, it's how it is. But again, that noble deed he did was had more impact than all the videos that he probably have done because it showed that hey you know I got your back um, especially for those who are trying to uh, to make way um, in the uh, in channel awesome um, another perfect example and why I felt out of all the things that struck me more was Nolan anti sweet no entire um okay this one was going through a lot of problems. Even on film you can actually tell that he was not totally there. And there are times, especially when he's doing movie reviews, that Juario would be the person he will always rely on to help keep him straight, keep him from going you know, not going overboard. Because and you don't even though you don't see him because he's doing Skype, um, just hearing his voice was soothing. They said, Okay, he's not gonna go overboard because Juario is there, he's gonna you know, fo keep him on focus, um, and I always loved him on the um, on the specials that um, that guy with the glasses did. They, they, he was always a pleasant to see because when you see him, he's always, you know, he's always you know having fun. You can tell he's always enjoying himself making those specials. See, what I mean, how big or how small his part was, just seeing him having fun, seeing that um, that that glowing face um, made me smile in many ways. Um, so again, this is uh, hearing this. I, it, it stuns me, uh, especially when I saw that video. I, I saw the video he did with Nash. Um, he looked like he was happy. He looked like he was proud. He was. He couldn't. He. He was. He. He was very glad to work with um, with the Channel Awesome guys again. Um, and. Uh, I, I I just wish I, if this if he was going through a lot of pain he was going through um, some things that uh, he was trying to scream out for help I kind of wish that he probably would have went to someone anyone Doc Walker um, Spoony anyone um, this news is is is, is uh, I, I I don't know. What else to say on this? You know, it is. It, well, this is a personality that that is totally irreplaceable. This was one of the good ones we lost. Not just Channel Awesome, but everyone across the board. Us, even though he never worked with Mad Expression, we felt it. Don't think we haven't. We felt it. Just look at the forms. It speaks for itself. Uh, the people who are in the um, That Guy With Glass community, they felt it. YouTube 
felt it. Everyone felt it. I felt to the point where I just couldn't do my regular um, entertainment roundup. I wanted to talk about this. There was no way I could talk about Justin Bieber and his shenanigans when this, to me, has more importance and has more um, value to talk about because we lost a great man. And as far as um, that guy with the glasses is concerned, like I said before, on a Saturday, um, there was nothing on their forums. Um, there was nothing on the site news, I like they, they like to call it, that um, that addressed this. I'm assuming that's going to happen as the days dwindle down. Um, right now, I just think that uh, Doug Walker, Mike Rashad, and most of the producers at that guy with the glasses is basically taking a time out um, to remember their friend. Um, I won't be too surprised if you don't see too many videos being posted as a way to pay tribute to their friend. And if they are posting videos, it's probably because they already had a schedule, they already had it post for that release time. But I, I really do think they're gonna do something. I, I, they have to. He was the heart and soul. Um, of Channel Awesome for a number of years. He basically helped build Channel Awesome. He was one of the originals of that site. When Channel Awesome was being built, he was one of the first ones who was there. And when he left, he didn't leave on any bad terms. Like I said, he left on the best of terms you could, anyone can possibly kind of done on that site. Out of all the people, um, he left uh, with the door wide open for him, if he wanted to come back and jo rejoin the rejoin the crew, they would be they would have welcomed him arms and basically post his stuff back up. And you know what? They'd be like he never left. That's how much rapport he has had with that site. So to say that they're not gonna give him some kind of tribute, I would be very surprised and very disappointed if they don't. But I think they're gonna do it. I just think they. Um, right now, this this news is such a grip, such it it, it impacts a lot of people on so many levels that um, that I just think that they just need time. They need time to, to gather themselves together to pay tribute to their to their to their to their good friend in their own way. Because if you think they're not upset, look at Nash's tweets, look at Curious Lupus Tumblr. You can feel it. The World Wide Web is feeling it. In many, many ways. And as this news just keeps coming down, you probably will see um, more videos being made, more tribute videos from individuals. I know um, a couple of our fellow members of Mad Expression have done some. So this is not something that um, that's going to just go away anytime soon. A lot of people are going to remember him as rightfully so. Um, he was loved by a lot of people. His fans loved him. He was a person who appreciated the fan that he has gotten. And the fans appreciate him and his hard work and his dedication. And for those who uh, who still believe that uh, those who make videos for a living don't have that kind of impact and you don't think it's going to work, well, look at the fan base of Jawario and that's all i got to say. Now, on an even more deeper serious note here, and I'm going to talk about it not as J77, but as Edwin Lee Pope, someone who have experienced this myself and someone who knows how deep um, this could lead to if not put in check. I, I just got one thing to say. Um, when I went to college, um, the one thing the professor always said, because we took classes on this, why we don't know but I'm kind of glad we did because it was a psychology class and he said that there are certain signs you should look for in terms of person you may feel is going to try and take their own life so whether they give out their whole entire possessions for no reason whatsoever um, to the fact that how they react and how friendly they react and how how they how the way they say goodbye if you see that uh, you might not want them to go any separate ways you want to talk to them you want to make sure they're okay you want to make sure they're doing good um, and 
my response to it is that how do you really know? And the professor really couldn't answer that question, and there's a reason because again, when I read this that form that um Juario's wife had, and I looked back at that uh at that video that Nash had made. There was no signs at all for, for a person who's about to take his own life. There was no signs at all about a person who was screaming for help. You saw a very happy Juar who was happy to be there, who was happy to be interacting with his fellow, uh, with his um, with his fellow um, co-worker. You didn't, there was no signs, not a single one. Um. The reason is that some people are good hiding it. Um, my, my myself, when, when I was going through my situation, my biggest mistake, even to this day, I'm still learning not to go to that same trap. Is when something um, anger you and something that uh, that bothers you, but you just don't know how to um, just to accept it, is to hold it in. You know, just you know, hold it. In, it may go away. Sometimes it don't go away. It sometimes build up more and more, and you got this big, this big weight on you, and something you don't know how to respond to it, and, and to, to the point where you're not talking to one. Um, nine times out of ten, it can lead to even worse things. Um, I had to remind myself that, and especially my friends, I told them all the time: Listen, if you see something wrong, if you see a pattern that's going on, don't say nothing. Don't keep it to yourself. Talk to me. You believe me, you may be doing me a favor. Um, because I need I need you to bring this up. You okay? Yeah, what's the, why? What's going on? Because you're acting like this and you don't really do that. If sure as everything is alright. And uh, that's something I reminded my friends. And my friends have done that. And they've done a good job of reminding my My uncle has done a good job. Especially the stuff I have done through the whole year. Of reminding me about that. Um, and... This is something I, I have to say to everyone, whether you are a Matic Expression member, Channel Awesome member, YouTube, everyone. Please, if there is a problem and you f that you feel that you can't handle yourself and it's just building up inside, please talk to someone. Talk to someone. It don't have to be from a fellow um, YouTube member. It doesn't even have to be f a, f a fellow Matic Expression member, but talk to someone who you feel can help you. Don't let that build in. No, don't don't let it build into the point where it just overwhelms you. Um, you'd be surprised how much stuff we take in and we don't, you know, release and we don't talk about it, that it can actually come back and hit us straight in the face. But don't let that happen. If it's something that's bothering you, reach out to someone. Anyone. Well, they're great people. I reach out to James sometimes, I talk to him and believe me, I don't think he ever knows by him talking and by me sharing some of my personal um, stuff that went on, um, he managed to help me um, because he communicated with me, um, especially when I was going to my own situation to the point where I had to stop blogging, I had to stop making videos for a while um, because things were so overwhelming. I thought I could handle it and me typing it pretty much gave me relaxation, but the reality was I was ignoring the pain that I was going through with my sister a situation with housing um, and it gotten to the point where I just it just I couldn't deal with it by myself anymore I had to move I had to move away from um, the internet world and didn't deal with my own problems because it needed to be dealt with um, talk to a lot of people and that's I talked to a lot of people and I'm still talking to a lot of people I was a it, it was like a whole big ton of bad waste just lifted off of me and but I couldn't have done that if I did not open my mouth and talk. Um, and to me, being in the past where not talking and keeping everything inside and keeping everything inside to explode the wrong way, <coughs> to me, I really need to not do that. <coughs> no one should do that. Um, also, we also got to remind ourselves that um, the people we follow on camera, we really don't know what they're going through off camera because there's no one on the world wide web can tell me they saw that coming no one and 
All I gotta say is that um, all I gotta say is that there are people out there, those who are considering it. You know who are who's listening to this. Those who are 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 down the dumps to the point where they just don't even want to get up in the morning, don't even want to you know just basically do the simple task and feel that life is hopeless. Please talk to someone. There's no shame at all for asking for help. None. All right. You'd be surprised by talking how much that helps you and how much it also helps us and how we can help each other. My condolences goes out to the families and friends. My condolences also go out to Channel Awesome. They have lost a great man as well. And again, I, I do believe that they're going to do something soon, but I, I don't think it's going to be done right away. I, I really do think they're going to, that, that they're, they're a lot of people who was close to him that are saddened by this, and they're just, they're moaning in their own way, and uh, the moment everything uh, gets settled down a little bit, um, they will probably do something, whether it be by blog or by video, most likely by video, um, to pay um, tribute, a final farewell to their dear friend. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say right now. Um, usual, you guys can leave your comments um, on below. Um, if you guys have special links to help agencies that uh, that deal uh, with this type of topic I might bring up, leave a link down there. I won't touch it. That's a link. As long as it's a legitimate link to um, a um, site that helps people dealing with depression or suicidal behaviors, I'll leave it there. If you just want to talk and give your condolences, be my guest. Uh, but again, I felt, in terms of this, I felt I needed to talk about this. I felt that uh, the World Wide Web, forget about the major news. This is something that the uh, internet community, YouTube, Channel Awesome, uh, Saboteur, Agony Booth, Mally Expression needed to know, needed to, needed to have a discussion for because he helped, he played a very big part on what we do today, whether we believe it or not, he did, alright, and to me, that alone deserves more attention than what Justin Bieber has done. That video will be posted, but to me, this was more important. You may not uh, agree with it, and that's fine. All right, I'm not going to argue with you on that, okay? But to me, in my own opinion, this holds more clout. And especially after the news hearing, it definitely holds more clout. Because, again, um, we may think we know someone just by watching a, a YouTube video or reading their blogs, but in reality, we, we really don't. And we don't know the pain that they're going through. And the only thing I can say is, if there are a lot of pain, please seek the help. Please. Please talk to someone. If you have to leave the internet community, because to me, your health and your personal life is far more important than making a video or making a blog. If that means to take some time to deal with what you're dealing with, by all means, do it. Until then, guys, um, the regular um, posts will be coming up soon that I will promise, probably one day after this or two days after this, but until then, J77, leave your comments below, take care, be safe, and rest in peace, my friend, rest in peace, you will be missed, take care.